peripheral IV is one of the most common invasive procedures performed in a hospital. Studies show that 80% of patients will receive an IV while in the hospital. Of that 80%, almost half of those IVs fail. And almost half of those failures are due to infiltrations. So infiltrations are a common problem. And they can lead to some serious complications. Until now, there's not been any technology available to assist clinicians. They've had to rely on periodic checks, periodic monitoring, and visual assessments. But now there's technology available that works in conjunction with those methods and helps to fill that gap. So the IV Watch Model 400 is a non-invasive device that aids in the early detection of infiltrations. It just uses light visible and near-infrared light to continuously monitor the patient's IV site, and it's capable of detecting an infiltration far before there are signs visible to the human eye. Looking at the system, there are three components. You've got the monitor itself, which is a standalone unit. It clamps right onto the IV pole. Then you've got the reusable sensor cable. It's good for 240 hours of monitoring time. And then you have the single patient use sensor receptacle. The way that the system works is that it's shining light into the surrounding soft tissue and it's monitoring the amount of light being reflected back. So if you can imagine having an infiltration, when the light hits that fluid, that light is going to scatter. You're not going to get as much light reflected back into the system. That's going to signal the system to alert you, the clinician, that something's changed and you want to assess the patient's IV site. So let's do a quick demo here. As far as setup, you want to place the sensor cable into the receptacle, and that's what goes onto the patient's skin. So if you can imagine the catheter being placed, you want this to sit just adjacent to it, about an inch away from the insertion site. That's going to put you right around the tip of the catheter, OK? So this is adhesive backed. It goes on the skin. And we do recommend that you just anchor the, the wings with a little tegaderm. All right, so now we're going to set up a monitoring run using our little demo. So we're going to start our system for a new patient. And we're going to check to make sure that everything is connected properly. We're going to hit OK. Here's a little diagram showing exactly where the sensor cable and receptacle should be placed. And now we're going to start monitoring. We would like for the system to run about 30 seconds to a minute before you start infusing. What that's going to do is set a baseline for what the tissue is normally. Then the system's going to monitor for any deviation from that normal state. That's not always, you know, not always possible, not always realistic. Wherever you start, so if you are already infusing, once you start that monitoring run, it's going to set its baseline and monitor from there. So now we are going to simulate an infiltration. And what you're going to see is one and hopefully two alerts. The first alert being a yellow check IV alert. You're going to see it on the screen, and you're going to get an audible alert as well. And what that's signifying is that something has changed from that baseline assessment. It signals you as a clinician to come over, check the IV site. You might think it's fine. You think everything looks good. Come over, hit the check IV button. You would get a time and date stamp of when you check the IV, and then the system would continue monitoring. If the system senses that that condition has worsened from that yellow alert, it'll actually give you a red alert. And at that point, the monitoring will stop. So now we have our check IV. You can see the time and date stamp. It'll save it in the monitoring history. But again, if it continues, you will get that red alert. At that point, monitoring stops, and that, again, is your signal to come over, really assess the IV site, because chances are that there's an infiltration. That red alert is signifying that there has been such a drastic change from that initial baseline that something's going on. For more information, you can visit our website at ivywatch.com.